So you believe in these kind of things? Let's just say I want to believe. Oh, even the music gives you goosebumps. Why does this fascinate us so well? It does from Star Wars to Star Trek, The X-Files, even South Park and the latest Indiana Jones, our culture is obsessed with the idea of aliens. And you could range from just a bit curious to being a fanatic, scouring the skies, hitting the blogosphere. Well, just for you, all this week, we're bringing a special series in search of aliens. And for today, UFOs aren't just for Hollywood and science fiction novels. Even though you may think that only conspiracy theorists and kooks believe both Congressman Dennis Kucinich, for example, as well as former President Jimmy Carter, say that they've seen something in the skies. And our space correspondent, Miles O'Brien, found some other believable believers as well. Well, Kieran, Hi, you Miles. can count me among them. I myself saw a UFO years ago. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Don't know what it was, where it came from. Sure seemed odd. And a lot of otherwise not-so-odd witnesses can tell you a similar story. <laughs> It's one of the better flying airplanes. Milton Torres is not the kind of guy to tell a tall tale. 20 years in the Air Force, an engineer with a PhD, a professor. He's all about brass tacks and left brain thinking. So I was all ears when he started talking about his UFO encounter over England in May of 1957. I got scrambled one night and my first orders are you will be ordered to fire on this mission. In just a few minutes, he was over the North Sea in a fighter like this at 31,000 feet, traveling nearly the speed of sound. In the dark and in the clouds, Milton saw the strongest signal he had ever seen on his radar screen. Bigger than sh the target was there. And the target looked like an aircraft carrier. It was that big and on the, my screen. He flew toward it to try and shoot it down. And it takes off. Like you're just standing like still. Like I wasn't even there. Like I wasn't even there. <laughs> just gone. Milton has no earthly explanation for what he saw. Could it have been a problem with the radar? Could it have been a weather phenomenon? No. Could it have been a meteor? It, Any it, of those things? It, it, everything was explained to me already. Yeah? I knew what it was. it was. It was some design of an aircraft by some space alien. Milton Torres says a U.S. intelligence agent ordered him to keep his mouth shut. The odd encounter is one of hundreds of once classified UFO sightings released last month by the British government. It's the sort of disclosure UFO investigators are demanding from the U.S. government. How would people react? Well, it would be kind of good. It's about time. Former astronaut Edgar Mitchell is the sixth man to walk on the moon and a firm believer that aliens have visited our planet repeatedly. So I had to ask... Why are they coming in these little glancing visits and, and we, we haven't had a more meaningful dialogue or contact or attempt to communicate with these well, people? Well, I think we have. Really? I think, I think we have, but it is not common knowledge. Mitchell told me after he returned from the moon, he was briefed at the Pentagon by a high-ranking officer, whose name he would not reveal, who said the U.S. government does have evidence of alien spacecraft and is keeping it a secret. Well, I think the root of the reason is still a secret is power and control, controlling whatever technology exists. All of this is fascinating stuff, if it is true. But consider this. There are thousands of sightings of odd, unidentified flying objects reported every year the world over. And yet no one has produced smoking gun proof of any visits from another planet. So isn't it more likely they are some sort of natural phenomenon? or maybe secret military aircraft, or just plain old hoaxes. Maybe, but consider this one. March of 1997, a huge V-shaped craft appears to fly over Phoenix. Among the witnesses, then governor and seasoned pilot, Fife Symington. And I suspect that uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise, that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft. Or consider this one. Before he became president, even Jimmy Carter saw something strange in the sky over Plains, Georgia. I and about 25 others saw something in the air that changed colors and was round and came and left. Carter doubts what he saw was an alien craft. But most Americans need no convincing.
maybe it comes from movies like Close Encounters. Or maybe art is imitating extraterrestrial life. For those who are skeptical of you, what do you say? Are you say, open your mind? Be skeptical. Do be as skeptical as you want, but by all, don't close your mind. Who knows, maybe we will soon get the full story. Among the people fascinated by the notion of aliens and UFOs, the man in charge of Obama's transition team, John Podesta. In a speech at the National Press Club a few years ago, he said, and we're quoting him now, it is time to open the books on questions that have remained in the dark on the question of government investigations of UFOs. It is time to find out what the truth is that's really out there. He said it's not just the right thing to do, Karen. He said it's the law. So we'll see. All right, tell us about your own UFO sighting. Was, we know that you're a pilot. It's about 20 years ago. My wife and I were in Maine. We, it was dusk. We looked up in the sky. We saw a very bright light. looked like a planet. Right. But then it took a 90-degree turn and took off at impossible speeds. What was it? Was it a meteor? Was it a black project airplane? Or was it something else? I don't know. What were you guys celebrating at the time? <laughs> we were completely <laughs> sober. Completely sober. No, I mean, there's a lot of people just like you, actually, that say very similar things, which is why, as John Podesta said, let's throw open the books and check it out. If nothing else, we should see what's in the files. I told you, I want to see what's over your shoulder, the guy with the triangular face and the big eyes. That's how. That Got to show that you. Would, yes, that All would right. finally do it for me. But meanwhile, it is fascinating, Miles. And tomorrow, actually, we're going to be taking a look at a famous spot in UFO history, of course, Roswell, New Mexico. It's been 61 years since something happened there. Is it still a mystery or is it case closed? For Roswell, Miles is going to be back tomorrow with more here on American Morning. And meanwhile, we're also asking others to send in their um, videos, maybe their pictures. If you've seen something funny in the sky or you're convinced that aliens exist, or do you just think it's science fiction, we want to hear from you. Send us any pictures, video at CNN.com slash AM. You can just go to our website and click on the iReport link. We look forward to tomorrow as well, Miles. Thanks right. so much. See you then.